Hello and welcome to BW London Podcast. Um, I say this with a heavy heart because I believe that Jamal Edwards was a good guy and one that sadly got taken in by the Illuminati and um, was eventually made a sacrifice for their benefit. And I believe they did that because from their side of things, his popularity had decreased quite massively and I genuinely believe they thought he was better off dead than alive. And once your soul is in their hands, so is life and death in their hands, you know. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go... I went through um, Jamal Edwards' social media and just as what they do is hidden in plain sight, I believe it really was. Um, I mainly took from his Instagram account and a few things from Twitter. So in um, 2012 and before that, he Jamal Edwards never threw up any kind of Illuminati hand signs. As adventurous as he got was these couple signs that we see here. Nothing before that. It, that was as simple as it got. He pointed at people and maybe gave up the two hand peace sign. <laughs> but um, towards the end of 2013, from around October... I believe that's when um, he would have been approached by the Illuminati and when his um, initiations began because we um, we start to see his hand signs change out of nowhere. And um, in the very beginning of 2013, in February, he has an encounter with Drake and um, the caption is, started from the bottom, now we hear Drake's song. But to me, that has a double meaning started from the bottom now we're here there's a reason he looks this sad in this picture drake was definitely the person who gave him his first initiation and in the entertainment business it's always um sexual and it's always dabbling in the same sex ordeals always um so like i said there's a reason he looks that sad and there's a double meaning in that caption straight away after that um Jamal Edwards appears on the Time Out magazine and he uses the cover face sign. It's purely all illuminati out now. And that cover face sign is one of shame. And that's why he, he, you know, he doesn't look proud, but the duality would be showing him later. <laughs> the reality would be showing him later looking more, with the exact same... Um, expression but on the economist looking more happy joyful that's the duality that they preach and you would have been learning a lot about power and freeing up yourself opening up your mind and um not seeing um same sex encounters as as something um wrong even if it's not something you want to do but you you know your mind is open and now you're free to access power and then here comes the evidence with him on these magazines and like I said, he showed duality, which is the sad version, which was on The Times, and the happier version on The Economist. Um, he then speaks about Illuminati on Twitter. He has a conversation, and all of this is something that has to be done. You have to speak about what you're doing. It has to be said in plain sight, demonstrated in plain sight. It's just part of their rituals and how they do it. So in 2014... Um, he's now covering his face and also showing that it's a secret. These are secrets, as you know, that's a popular theme. They cover their mouth because they're now keeping secrets. And what people have to understand is that it's a mob mentality. There's, there's a small selection of elitists that are throwing up these hand sides, have done the things that they do, and but together they feel extremely powerful and they have a lot of evidence to back them up. In the meantime, there's no doubt that their souls are being dabbled with and a lot of sadness is being experienced, but the evidence being shown around them is the greatest influence. And in 2015, um, Jamal Edwards got his MBE. And to me, it's the most turned out he's ever looked. I I hate to say it like that, but he looks extremely camp, extremely extremely camp and that I believe that's because what he'd gone through since 2013 it had opened up a side of him um by 2017 he's definitely moving into the new stages of his uh, initiation and that's when you go all in eyes 
eyes shut, all in, you know, and you're believing everything. Um, he continues to throw up the devil horn signs. But this is when I believe um, the blood sacrifice would have come in. Um, obviously, that's purely an allegation, but I would suspect that somebody around Jamal Edward died at that time. Um, I know he had two friends that died of suicide. I couldn't find any information on that, but I would imagine that happened in 2017. And that might seem like something really cruel to people, but when you're at this stage of the initiation, it just makes sense. Sacrifice has always made sense. From the day that we stopped speaking in the language of the gods, we've never had more atheists. Because one thing that people understood a hundred or so years ago is that there are gods. There is the one true God that people claim to be, which is the God of Israel and so on. And then there are the gods, the gods of the earth that make things happen and bring about wealth and create decisions and have influence on real earthly things but people were very much aware of it so they would say you know oh please ask your gods to help me with blah 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 but the moment we stopped speaking in that language was the day that the devil could really come and bamboozle people on the next level and like I said I really believe that's what happened to Jamal Edwards he's been bamboozled and his soul will mean more than anything because it's a real, it's a soul of a real person with real heart, and they don't get that often. Trust me, in the Illuminati, they don't get that often. They get gravelicious, narcissistic, sociopath type people that are not fun to play with. But when you get people that have heart, like Jamal Edwards, it's a happy day for these people. And that's why I say this one is really hard to talk about for me. Um, by 2018. Like I say, his popularity continues to decrease and he more or less reminisces on his pictures from 2013 in Time Out and The Economist. That's what you mainly see on his social media. But by 2019, which means probably in 2018 he was receiving a whole bunch of Illuminati knowledge, the duality comes out and you'll see it in celebrities across the board. They'll have pictures with them playing chess. That's a certain stage of the initiation, the duality stage. And you'll see pictures of them on the black and white floors, covering their mouth, covering their face. It's all about the knowledge they're receiving. And that duality is about giving and kindness. But then you've also done an extreme evil. But it's the balance of things and do what I will. Nothing is actually evil. This is just human nature doing what they do. Like It's a whole preaching of do what the hell you want but it's, it's covered by sin and schemes and doing evil things that keep you locked in and keep you trauma bonded to this spiritual wickedness, ultimately. But, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there and it'll probably be my final video on Jamal Edwards because it's my second video. And as somebody who is a good soul, because I really believe he was, I know these things are hard to hear. So, um, yeah, thanks for listening.